I'm here with a real living legend, Greg the Hammer Valentine. Mr. Valentine, thank you for the time that you're giving us here. You bet. Now, many people remember you from the WWF at that time, or the WWWF, and uh, I remember a time before that, I think you had one of the most famous matches of all time with Roddy Piper in the dog collar match. Yes, sir. Uh, it's, uh, it can't be duplicated, and uh, it stood this, the test of time. Uh, everywhere I go, that's, you know, people, you know, they always talk to me about the dog collar match. I run it by and I look at it every once in a while and I go, my God, how did I do that? Or how did Piper hold up? But uh, back then we wanted to make a statement and uh, we wanted everybody, we wanted to steal the show that night. And uh, I, I think we did. And uh, like I said, it, it stood the test of time all these years. Now, why doesn't that type of match exist today? No one even attempts it. Is it that brutal? Well, they've had hardcore matches, yeah. you know, throwing staples in a ring and whatever kind of stupid stuff they do, but it's too hard right here. Yeah. That's, that's me and Piper uh, a couple years ago in Atlanta. That's the original oh, yeah. dog collar right there. That's awesome. Nobody... I don't think nobody, first of all, nobody could duplicate that or come close to it, so they just stay away from it. It's, it's, yeah. it's too hard to do. Right, right. And you, you were involved. Now, your father, is he the one that got you into wrestling, Johnny Valentine? Yes, yes. Uh, he didn't want me to be a wrestler, but uh, uh, I just kept gnawing at him. Come on, Dad. So he sent me up to Canada, and I learned up there. It's been, I've been very successful. Uh, my father, of course, was hurt in a plane crash and couldn't wrestle anymore. So, but even though it wasn't hands-on training, he, you know, he, he would just tell me what I was doing wrong, mm -hmm. what I was doing good. And, uh, you know, it worked out good for me. I think, you know, a lot of your talent is inherited. For me, it was, because there's no way I could, you know, I, I learned it so fast and and I almost looked just like my dad without trying to look like my dad, so. Now, personally, my favorite feud with you was with Chief J Strongbow. That was, that was legendary. Well, that was one of my favorites too because that's way back before Vince took over the world or whatever. <laughs> and and we, we wrestled in high schools, we wrestled in colleges. Then we wrestled at the Boston Garden and the Madison Sky, and we sold out wherever we went. And Chief J, God rest his soul, he's not with us anymore. But that that was that was just a legendary uh, feud that we had, and the people they loved Jay and they hated me. So I got to meet you both in the backstage area at the Boston, the old Boston Garden, right. when Medusa and you came through. Yeah. And she introduced me to you. Now, I have regards from her. She's at the Monster Truck event today. She credits you with getting her into the WWF and, and responsible for her whole WWF career. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks. Uh, I did. I, uh, I, I, I told Vince about her, and, and I hooked her up with Vince. But uh, she, she's a heck of a wrestling talent. So I want to thank you for your time. Anything else you want to say? Just keep on hammering down, baby. <laughs>